Coming up today on this episode of Go! A National Highland Dance Champion looks for another title here at home. I like dancing in front of people and like, I guess, impressing people. I have like passion for it. And a preview of the U18 National Football Championship right here in Winnipeg. It's a pretty big thing. I mean, we went from obviously a uh, hundred and something players down to a 40-man roster. Hello and welcome to GO, I'm Blair Miles Stravich and today we're at a destination for environmental education celebrating its 50th year, Fort White Alive. And joining me right now is Sarah. Sarah, tell me what kind of things people can do down at Fort White Alive. For sure. Um, we like to say that we have a little bit of something for everybody. So whether you're here to take a walk or a bike or run on our trails, you can rent a boat, um, go out on the water in a canoe or in a rowboat, um, all kinds of things. And what kind of stuff, what kind of animals will people see? So many animals. Uh, we have a lot of white-tailed deer. Of course, we have a 30 head herd of bison. Um, lots of little water creatures and frogs and all those kinds of things in our marshes. Um, and then our prairie dogs and our burrowing owls are another favorite. Now, big milestone celebrating 50 years. What are some of the things that maybe people don't know they can do at Fort White? Absolutely. Um, so people know us as sort of a destination for getting outside and doing all those kinds of things. Something that people maybe don't know is that we have all kinds of special events, um, the Great Escape, which we'll talk about later. And we have a fun run coming up uh, later this month, which is a fun 5 and 10K run called the Forest Fiver, um, which raises money for our environmental education programs. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for this air. We'll check with you a little bit later in the show. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at a Highland Dance champion who's hoping to reclaim a title.